Yeah. Oh, from St. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know you were at St. Good evening, everyone. Before we uh, begin the service tonight for Jan, I, I'd like to uh, first introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Father Ron Esman, and I'm uh, a priest here in the Archdiocese of Detroit. And uh, I was called at my residence a few days ago by the directors here and was asked if I would be able to join. So I'm most honored. Uh, to be with you, and I want to offer all of you my condolence at uh, Jan's passing. I had Mass this afternoon uh, at uh, St. Paul of Tarsus uh, over in Clinton Township, not far from here, and uh, Jan was remembered at Mass. Uh, I have three Masses tomorrow uh, at St. Paul and St. Teresa of Lisieux on Shaner, here in Shaner, and uh, Jan will be remembered again at those Masses, and please know that all of you who knew and loved her, um, are, will be included in, in our prayer. We'd like to begin with uh, a reading of a poem. Thank you. Thank you. 
This poem is called The Dash Poem. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of her birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth, and now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters now is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard, and there thing, are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a while. So when your eulogy is read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? Very nice. And let us begin our prayer as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin our service tonight by blessing Jan's body and casket. And as we bless her remains, we are reminded of the day of her baptism, when Jan died of an old life and began a journey of faith with God. Jan, it was on the day that you were baptized, that you were clothed in Christian dignity, symbolized in this white stole. And finally, Jan, it was on the day that you were baptized that a cross was traced on your forehead. And on that day, a priest named you, and he claimed you for Jesus Christ. Now that your earthly journey has ended, bring that dignity unstained into the banquet hall of life everlasting. And to this prayer, if we could all say amen. 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 Thank you. Let us pray. O oh God, in whom sinners find mercy and saints find joy, we gather and pray for our sister Jan, whose body we here honor with Christian burial, that she be delivered from the bonds of death. Admit her to the joyful company of the saints Raise her on the last day to rejoice in your presence forever. This prayer we make in Jesus' name, your Son, living with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I would like to share two readings from Scripture. The first is from the New Testament, a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. None of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For when we live, we live for the Lord. And when we die, we die for the Lord. So then whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this is why Christ himself died, and why he came to life, that he be the Lord of both the dead and living. For we shall all one day stand before the presence of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, let all knees bend before me, let all tongues give praise to God. So then, each of us shall give an account of our life to God. Friends, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
And following our reading uh, this evening, I would like to share with you a, a, a psalm response, a Psalm 27. I find it quite consoling. It has four stanzas. When I raise my hand, if you could all say with me, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Please, everyone. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Lord, you are my light and salvation. Whom then should I fear? Lord, you are my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on God's loveliness and forever contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hear, Lord, hear the sound of my call. Have pity on me, Lord, answer me. It is your presence, Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I will one day see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted as we wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. And our final reading that I'd like to share tonight is from the book of the Gospel, a story taken from the Gospel of John. When Jesus arrived in the town of Bethany, he found his friend Lazarus to have already been buried four days. Bethany was a short distance from Jerusalem, about two miles. And many friends of Martha and Mary were at the home comforting them with the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was arriving, she went out to greet him. Mary remained inside. Upon his arrival, Martha said, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that what you ask of God, he will give you. Jesus said, Martha, Lazarus will rise again. She said, I know he will in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus then said, Martha, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me, even when they die, they live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this, Martha? She said, yes, Lord. I believe you are the Messiah, Son of God, the one coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Rob? Rob? Uh, are you okay? You okay? I'll do my best. Why don't you stand here so we can... All right. Um, wow. <clears throat> Are we on a time limit here or anything? <laughs> First of all, I'll say that my mom loved every person in this room and every person in this world, and she loved everyone. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this, but... I tried, I tried writing it down over the last three and a half days, and I wasn't able to. The first letter I'd, out, I'd put, I'd, I'd stop, and, and then I'd try again, and I just couldn't do it. But, Mom, you're the most amazing person I've ever met in my entire life, and I know every single person in this room would agree with me. And I 
I don't even know what to say. I just, thank you. I love you more than anything you could ever imagine, and every single person in this room is going to miss you so much, and this world changed on Tuesday when you left because you were truly an angel. You seriously were, and, I, and you still are. And I just... I had to do this. This is the most uncomfortable feeling I've ever felt in my entire life, but I just want you to know how much I love you, Mom. And just, just know that your legacy will always live on. And am I allowed to swear? <laughs> you were just <laughs> you were truly you are truly amazing and your grandchildren and me Rick and Jamie and my dad and Uncle Dave TG I mean, I'm not going to leave, leave anyone else, Jason, just because I'm looking at everyone. I just want you guys to know that my mom truly loved every single person in this room. And I'm going to miss you so much, Mom, and I already do. And, and I, I want to keep on going, but I don't even know what else to say. But I told myself I was going to do this, and I just got it over with. And I love you very much. And like Dan and just everyone in this damn room. Sorry, in this room, I know this probably wasn't the best thing, like, but this is just me, and I'm allowed to do it, and I will never stop loving you, Mom, ever. I love you. Hey, I'm very, hey. I'm very sure. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Boy, what do I say now? <laughs> no swearing. I have, over the course of 40-plus uh, years, been privileged to be a priest. And over these 40-plus uh, years, I, I have presided at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of funerals, <laughs> as you can well imagine. Uh, and everyone is unique, and everyone is different. And... Uh, I just feel in my heart that what has been said is sufficient. Amen? Amen. I, I, really, I really feel in my heart there, there really isn't a need for, for a long extended homily. <laughs> because I, I, I think that, uh, Rob, you and your brothers, uh, all of you gathered here, all these beautiful sentiments of flowers. And, uh, this, this, this morning I went into the website here for Wujik and, and all the beautiful entries that were said, it all focuses on the same, <laughs> of what a beautiful, loving human being she was. And I think that just captures it. And, and, I, and I think that Jan uh, really understood later in life, what baptism was all about. And I think, she, I think she really took it seriously. As I was told when I arrived that it was through the wonderful friendship of a beautiful lady. Uh, where is she? Rose? Rose? A member of St. Teresa of the Sioux. Uh, by her encouragement, uh, that Jan took that faith and, and really witnessed it before and after baptism. And that's what we did here when we when we blessed the casket. 
you witness the gospel. Folks, amen? Amen. You witness the living of the gospel in this beautiful soul. And, 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 and I have here, you know, when I, I think of Hallmark, she, she worked at Hallmark. <laughs> think of all the people she touched. <laughs> people that went into the store and bought by her friendliness. Maybe I, uh, maybe I one time even met her <laughs> at, the, at the Hallmark. We talked at uh, Garfield and Canal. I used to go in there a lot when I was pastor of St. Paul. So, uh, so I, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Uh, and, I, and I want to remind all of you that, yes, we come to honor somebody who has died. And I think I love that beautiful poem, The Dash. I've heard that many times. But, uh, but as a priest, I, I, I want to give you the assurance that this good soul is still alive. Amen? Amen. <laughs> That's our faith. Yes, our body will die someday. But Jesus assures us in the gospel that as a believer, that this beautiful soul is still alive. She's living in the presence of God. That's our faith, that she is in the presence of God. And I believe, and I, and I really do believe this, that when we die, uh, that all the people that we touch in life who got to the gate before I do, <laughs> before Jan, is there to greet her. And as I heard in a, a, a homily many years ago when I was in formation, this beautiful priest who touched my life and why I think I'm a priest today because of his positive influence. Of, he was a, a, a professor at Villanova where I attended. And he said, I think of heaven that when when I die and I get to the gate, that, I'll, that the gate will be filled with souls <laughs> to tell the Lord of my worthiness to enter eternal life. So I've shared that story for 40 years, Doug. <laughs> uh, and I have to say that tonight, that, that when Jan died, it was a Tuesday, uh, that uh, as Father John said in his homily one time, he said, I hope I'll be wowed. I hope I'll be blown over by all the people waiting for me. So, so I just want to end with that, that, uh, that I do believe in light of everything I've witnessed tonight, all you good folks who are here to honor her, and all these beautiful flowers, my goodness. She really touched a lot of people. <laughs> but she left you an example, everybody. Our world needs more people like Jan. <laughs> Amen? Amen. <laughs> We all need, so let me be that person. <laughs> let you be that person. All the things she taught you, take that with you now. Make that part of your life. And that way, her memory still lives, always. So, uh, again, I will remember and pray for all of you tomorrow at my masses. And I, I wish you peace. I wish you God's comfort. Amen. I'd like to offer, uh, in conclusion to our uh, service here this evening, uh, some prayers of the faithful. And when I offer each prayer, if you would please say, Lord, hear our prayer. It was on the day of her baptism, but 15 years ago, when Jan was given that pledge of eternal life, that she would be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she be raised on the last day, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our deceased relatives and friends, for all who in life helped us like did Jan, that they like her have the great reward of their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep, in hope of rising again, that they will see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of you good folks, as you've taken time tonight to honor Jan, gathered here in worship, that we too will one day all be gathered in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Let's conclude these prayers and the many that you yet have in your heart, saying together the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father of mercy, it is now to your hands we commend our sister and friend, in the sure and the certain hope that with all who have died in Christ, she will rise on the last day. We've gathered in this service to give you, give you our sincere thanks for all the many wonderful blessings you showered in her life journey, blessings that are signs of your goodness and of our fellowship with Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us. Listen to our prayer. Yes, open the gate of paradise to this good and faithful servant. And help all of us who have gathered here tonight that we leave comforting one another with our faith until the day we meet Christ. Are you are with you and our sister forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jan, my sister in the faith, may the holy angels take you now to paradise. May the holy martyrs come to heaven's gate. May they all in great procession take you to that holy city, eternal Jerusalem. May choirs of angels welcome you home. May they take you to the bosom of Abraham. And where Lazarus is poor no longer, Jan, may you find eternal rest and peace. Amen. And in the most sincere way, I pray for all of you that God give you peace and comfort, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service has ended, as she did so well. Go love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Safe journey home, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for just one more moment. The family has requested a song, and due to some technical difficulties, I apologize for the poor sound quality, but we do have this here for you this evening.
and gentlemen, at this time, this does conclude our service for the evening. The visitation does continue until 9 o'clock. Thank you all for coming, and please enjoy your time. Thank you.